The U.S. Supreme Court struck down the federal government's decision to add whether or not someone is a U.S. citizen on the census questionnaire. Alabama's leaders say if the state doesn't have full participation, a lot of services could be at risk. Our state capitol bureau reporter Rashad Hudson has more. Alabama leaders are making a big push for the 2020 census count, and the biggest item at risk would be the loss of a congressional seat. In 2018, Alabama joined several other states to make sure that non-citizens couldn't be counted in the 2020 census. It's a decision the U.S. Supreme Court disagreed with. In a statement from Governor Kay Ivey following the Supreme Court's ruling reads, quote, I urge Alabamians to fill out their census forms in March and April 2020 so that we can ensure Alabama's future counts. Well, this number is going to drive the division of money, the division of services for a decade. It happens every 10 years, the census. It's where the government tries to get an accurate count of the people. Sonny Brassfield is working to make sure that county governments have full participation. As a family, what you're going to need from government 10 years from now is completely different than what you need today. Greg Cochran is working to make sure that municipalities participate in the census. He says it affects things like school lunches, housing, and infrastructure. They're critical to our communities to help fill the funding gaps that we have at the local level. The census count for the state is expected to begin between next March and April. Putting the Valley first, Rashad Hudson, WZDX News.